Someone suggested that I do a video on us versus them type mentality within atheist communities. But I kind of think a better title for this video might be something along the lines of um, stop being condescending and rude to Christians in the comment sections. First, let me get out of the way the recognition that atheism in and of itself is not a community. I understand that. Atheism is just the lack of belief in a theology. However, there are communities based around atheism, like uh, the Atheist subreddit or this YouTube atheist community. I just wanted to get that out of the way because not long ago I super chatted one of my favorite YouTube atheists on one of his live streams asking about this sort of thing. And since I didn't have enough room to put YouTube atheist community, I just put atheist community. And he ended up just talking about how atheism isn't a community. Admittedly, I got a little bit frustrated. So I just wanted to be clear here that I understand that atheism is not a community but there are communities based around atheism. I want to address why we have these types of communities formed, why I think it's detrimental to be condescending and sometimes just an asshole, and why I think people still hold on to this us versus them mentality. So why do we have a community formed around the lack of a belief system here on YouTube? I'd say there's a couple reasons. For one, people like to be able to talk to like-minded people. Religious people get this more often because they can go to church and to religious events and such. A lot of us who are atheists live in very religious communities and don't have a whole lot of like-minded people around. So it's nice to be able to get that online. Of course religious people can get this online too, but for a lot of us, the internet's the only place we can really go for this. Or if you can afford to go up to Texas for Faithless Forum. Another big reason why I think it is that we have these communities formed is because so many people, myself included, see the harm that can be caused by religion and want to do something about it. Talking about it after the fact can help people heal quite a bit. And that's good. I don't want to undermine that in the slightest. However, a lot of us also want to be able to get through to people who are currently involved in religion and help them out so that as little harm can be caused as possible. I went through the comment section of a couple of videos by a popular Christian apologist and some of the things being said by atheists to the Christians was just rude. The videos I looked at were about slavery in the Bible. And trust me, I understand how frustrating it can be to see something so obvious as the biblical support of slavery being worked around in such a way to make it fit modern understandings of morality. However, I wanna know, what are you really trying to do here? If your intention in these comments is to make a person legitimately rethink their viewpoints, then this isn't a good way to do it. Do you honestly think making a person feel small and stupid is a good way to help them see your perspective? That's not how people respond when they feel threatened. Again, I understand the frustration. Just this past weekend, I lost my patience talking to a Christian apologist. And I'm not proud of that, but it happens to everyone in just any conversation. You get a little too frustrated and you lose your cool. What I'm saying is that people need to be more careful with their wording and more understanding if they legitimately want to help. If you don't want to help and you just want to be a dick, then I suppose this video isn't for you. However, please recognize that I don't support your behavior. Most of us have been right where those Christians are right now. And it is extremely common to find that us versus them type mentality within religious groups. I think this is something we could all agree on. I was talking to my sister about this and she's pretty religious and she agrees with me. So I don't know, maybe it's something that's easy enough to see from the inside as well. Anyway, I think this could be why people are still holding on so strongly to that mentality because it's just another thing that was so heavily ingrained into a person while they were indoctrinated that it's really hard to let go of even after deconversion. That's also something that the original comment suggested and I guess I'm just agreeing with that. Also, people in general don't like to be wrong and with all these conflicting theologies, someone has to be wrong. Perhaps people are getting so defensive and argumentative because they recognize that these ideas conflict so heavily that somebody has to be so dramatically wrong. But really, we ought to be okay with being wrong if we really want the truth. This shouldn't be in us versus them. We're all just people who want the truth. And honest conversations and discussions are gonna get us a lot further than being argumentative, defensive, and dismissive. Now, to any Christians or other theistic individuals, I may defend you circumstantially as an individual, but I'm not gonna defend your beliefs. As a person, as a human being, I inherently care about you. And that's why I'm fighting for you here. For you, not against you. 
Please feel free to engage me in conversation if you'd like. I'm usually pretty good about replying on Twitter and other social medias and whatnot, so yeah, hit me up if you want. This doesn't have to be a feud. We all want the truth. Let's find it together. Thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Comment with possible video suggestions or anything else you'd like to say. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. And as always, stay unholy, my friends.